be right back to get this series started in just a minute. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Game one of the National League Championship Series. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the New York Mets. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab, Kodai Senga. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become yeah. a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And here's the rookie catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. We go on to inning number two. It's the Mets one, and the Brewers nothing. One gone runner at first. So up next for New York, Jay Mack. Doubled in his first A.B. He's a major topic of conversation. The rare two-way player at the big league level. It's pretty early on in his major league career, but it's driving a lot of excitement around the game. Yeah, Boog, hard to not get excited about a player with this much athleticism, this much talent. Just such a rare thing in baseball. And you know, just about every front office is watching him and dreaming of having their own guy like him in the organization. And a foul ball left side. Matt goes six feet, three inches, batting in the cleanup spot. And he was a third round pick in 2023. Woodruff checks over to first, and he's back. Nimmo leads off first with one away. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Mitchell going back on this one. Still going back. And in one hops the wall. Nimmo around third. He'll score easily. And they take a two-run lead. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Runner at second here, one gone. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 
pitch. That's in, ball two. Chopper right side. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Up next to the mat, the first baseman, Daniel. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. That one missed. Here we go, kid. Here we go. Pitch misses there, and that's ball three. Rafael Ortega up next. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. First and third, two away. And next for the Mets, Rafael Ortega. Runners on first and third, two away. Next offering is down low. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. That one fouled off, two and two. And he deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the fourth now in game number one. It's the Mets three and the Brewers one. Man at first with one gone. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Jay Mack. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. To third, might be two. Throw is high and over his head. Lead runner around second. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. The bat. The well, Boog, it could be tough to get a good grip on the baseball when it's cold Alvarez. outside. And that's definitely the case right now here in the ballpark. It could have been something else, but I definitely know that feeling when your fingertips are numb and you really can't feel the baseball. One down. Francisco Alvarez digs in now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Next pitch is downstairs. They're all just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. The pitch. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Woodruff throws the first. Mack back in on a dive. They have a rip up there right now, huh? The 2 2. And that's a strikeout looking. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that called third strike. Here's Daniel Vogel back. He's 0 for 1. Vogel back. And the right hater deals. Rip to third. That ends the frame. Two left on. We're through five. It's the Mets three and the Brewers one.
back here in Queens. Leading bottom of the eighth. The and now the DH, Jay Mack. So it's game one of the yeah. LCS, and they're going to be looking to this guy for more of his success like he had in the division series. Well, this team's got its sights set on the World Series. If they're going to get there, it's going to be because of his performance. The old one. That one ripped. That's back there. And just like the ex-girlfriend who ain't coming back, that one is gone. A solo shot. And they add on. It's 4-1. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.